In this example, we are again having a collision between two cars of known mass and known velocity. So once again, we can find the momentum of both cars. The difference is this time it is a head-on collision. So one of the cars will have a negative velocity and therefore it will have a negative so when we combine these together, in essence, we're subtracting the two magnitudes of momentums. This will give us the total momentum of our system. The two cars are going to stick together, so they will act as one mass. We'll call that mass total. We'll set that equal to the final velocity, that is the velocity after the collision. And if we multiply the mass total times that final velocity, we should get the total momentum we had before the collision. So we can calculate this based on the numbers we have now. We can calculate this by just adding the masses of the two objects together. Don't forget the cars themselves have a mass of 500 before you put anything on top of them. So make sure you include that for the total momentum at the beginning and also when you're doing the mass total. You then simply solve for the final velocity of the, of the two cars when they're stuck together.